Radio Grade Tens, here we go. It is uh, our next lesson in the HSE workbook. We're specifically busy with solid geometry, having to take a given front view and a top view and then project different views of this. Now, fortunately for you, they've already given you the orthographic projection layout here. And as you read there, they say they've given to you a front view and a top view of a right regular solid. Of course, this is a hexagonal solid or prism. Draw the given views. So we have to draw our front view, top view, and then we have to project our left view and right view. All construction needs to be shown. Now, this is the question, the given part of it. And you can just see the measurements there. The height is 60. They've given us point A as a reference, and each side of our hexagon is 20. Radio. Down here is where we're going to be start drawing. And of course, first of all, we make sure our um, page is lined up. And we're going to start with our construction line here at the bottom. And, yes. Oh, okay. Just give me a moment. just want to figure something out here. Sorry for that. Yeah, that's not right. Apologize for the pause here. Okay, let's see here, uh, we're back on it. You can see there's actual kids in my class, just for any doubt. <laughs> All right. Sorry, we just fixed the casting here. All right, there we go. All right, everybody with me? Okay, here we go. So that's what happens when you're live. You might have some hiccups. All right. So scale one to one, that base is 20. So you're going to put your radius of your compass on 20. They look in it, ain't look. All right, right there on 20. And there's a couple of ways to do this, but this is probably the quickest way. Follow me. So you're going to take your compass, making a mark here, getting a center there, and a center. Are you with me? Okay. And then on that position, you can draw a full construction circle. Okay, and now what's the advantage? Keeping that radius the same, I can just go tip and walk myself all around this hexagon with a circle, and there is my six points for my hexagon. This is first term work how to construct the hexagon. Then this is of course a top view, so we can draw that in nice and dark with our 30 degree triangle. It's also going to be a benefit for you. Okay, and by this time, most of you are thinking, oh man, this job is easy. All right, there's the hexagon. You project each one of these corners up to our front view. Chip. Another one here. And the last one. Then the height from the XY is 60, so no worries, no stress, no anxiety, just with confidence. Goes this way. Now, I already know I'm going to have to project a left view and a right view. So, I already draw that construction line all the way through. Okay? And then the front view is given, so that's not going to be too difficult. Draw that in. Okay. So, we've drawn already what was given. Two ticks. We're four minutes in. All right. Now... If you're drawing in my class, put your pens down and have a look here. Okay, just before I get to that quick reminder how we did this, we did the base of 20, took our compass on radius 20 did this to get the center, then did a full circle, use that same radius, and just on the circumference of that circle we got our six points, and we joined it in, projected that up, now we have the front view. Now... What I'm teaching you now is setting you up for future solid geometry drawings. You need to learn how to number, okay? So we've got six corners here. Do you agree with me? There's six on top and six at the bottom. Yes or no? Yes. All right. So look at me. We start on the outside with a one. And then we go clockwise. This is number two. Ignore that A. That's three. That's four. 
that's five, that's six, okay? But there's a one on the top here, directly nine of that, there's the one. But directly below it, there's another one. Do you agree with me? Okay. Just as you see that in, let's just quickly number the stop. So we've got one. Then we go to the, if you think this is the top, my eye here would be the front, right? If I would have a pencil here, and I say, where's the front? I have to look from here to see the front of that pencil. And that's what I'm drawing there. Okay. So that's the top of it. So the front is here. So do I see the one and then the two and the three? Do you agree with me? These are the closest to my eyes. People, if you catch this now, you are set for the rest of your high school career. The two is on the front. So I'm going to put the two below this line. Okay. Then it's the three. Then it's the four. Doesn't matter where you put that, that's on the outside. And look, the five is at the back, so I'm just putting that on top. And the six. So I'm actually just going again clockwise. One, two, three, four, five. You see what's happening? Mm -hmm. Now, just looking at that, I can already understand that there's a two on the front and a six at the back. A three in the front and a five at the back. Because I'm looking at this on a, this is a flat surface in the front view. Okay? Okay. At the bottom, you could call this also one, two, three, four, five, six. But just to help you illustrate this, I'm going to call this A. This f okay, at the bottom, let's call this. The bottom is A. This one at the bottom is B, C, D, E, and F. So if I project those, then that's A. This one on the front is B. This one is C. This one is D. Behind it is E. Behind it is F. Okay, you could have called it one, one, two, two, but I just wanted to, to help you out to say one A, two B, three. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six on the top, and we've got A, B, C, D, E, F at the bottom. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Now, look here how easy it now becomes. If I now project my left view, I will reproject at the top. Now all I have to do is I can, let's start with, with this one. So I take one, A, four, and D, and bring that up okay now where one and one meets i make a dot now look here oh this is beautiful okay what am i looking at what view am i drawing here there yes. left view so if i look from the left onto this is one on the front near my eye or behind yeah. do you see that so if i now take one up up where do i write that one on the top of the line now i'll go to please don't miss this now i go to two okay not thinking don't have to think I, i'm just following my numbers here my rules there's my two two if i look at it is it in the front or the back back what about three that's on the front so i draw it below the line then four it's in the front so it's below the line five it's right here on my eye are you saying aha uh -huh or uh uh? Ah, uh, okay. Five, right? Behind it is six, yes? And then right at the back is one. Now look here, there it is. No stress, no anxiety, no fear, confidence. Okay, left view. But is my numbering correct? That's the key because listen, listen to me. You know what's going to happen quite soon? We're going to be cutting these things in half. And then, if you don't know how to number, you're in trouble. Now I look from the right hand side. Same projection. Tip. Tip. Tip and up. I, I want you to see how this works. Because if you understand it, then you're straight. No stress. If I look from the right hand side, this is the first angle of the graphic projection. Which one is closer to my one or four? One. Can I see four? It's behind, ne? I see one. So look here. Up, up, where's one? Where do I write this? On the front. Let's continue clockwise. There's two. Up, two. Three is at the back. Four is at the back. Five is at the back. Six. Now listen. I've had many learners over many years. A lot of you will be able to do these drawings without numbering. I've been drawing for many years and I still need to number it when we get to the more complex drawings. 
So you have a decision today to make, am I going to learn myself how to number and have a stress-free grade 12 final exam? Or am I going to back myself and say, I don't need to number and have a stressed grade, grade 12 final exam? Your choice. Okay? Because these are the foundation. If you, if you from the start get this right, it's going to be much easier for you in the future. Okay? So if I look from the right hand side, I see this corner, so that's a nice dark line as well. Okay. Just on this part, any comments, questions, concerns? No? Okay. I'm going to just for the sake of finishing this, I'm going to do the one on the right hand side. Okay. Now it is an upside down, right regular, um, hexagonal pyramid. Okay. Starting point here. Chicka, chicka, bum, bum. Chicka, chicka, bum. Each side is 23. We're going to use a different construction method. Okay. What you do know about a hexagon is that each side there is at 30 degrees. Yes or no? Okay. I just want to see this, line, this page of mine moved again. Just line that up. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here at the bottom. We'll either do, use a different technique. 30 degrees. Flip it. Again, 30 degrees. What's the length of each one of these sides? 23. So on your ruler there, sort it out. And you can go tip, tip, tip. Straight up, straight up. Confirming that so on this side. And they should meet as well. Right. Okay, so there's our hexagon. Gonna just draw that in. That's the outside. Who's enjoying EGD? Uh, two hands. Joking. I, I'm sure all of you would ra much rather be in a... On a beach. Okay. Here they've given us hidden detail. So let's draw that in. So fortunately for now, we're just having to draw what is given. Should this drawing take you any longer than it's taking me at the moment to draw? shouldn't so just keep drawing practicing the more you draw the more confidence you'll gain the more accurate you'll be all right once we have that part now we're going to project up okay and we're going to do the numbering now this is 60 so that's all the way to the top here i'm going to draw the top of it plus already projected to the side and the bottom is here Flip it. All right. Okay. Now let's see how smart you are with your numbering. Okay. We are, we're going to start on the top view. Let's call this center zero. So that zero, you agree with me, is here at the bottom. All right. Then we start on the outside. I like to start on the right hand side. You can pick. Let's start with this one as a one. Ignore the A. That's two, three, four, five, and six. I'm not thinking. All right. Using that same strategy, the one is on the bottom of the. Because this is now on the front. Two, three, Four is directly behind it. That goes on top of that line. Five and six. And now, yes, like it. This can't be easier. Projecting all of these to the 45, including the zero here. I'm sure you guys are going home and telling, no way. These drawings are just too easy. 
I don't know when we're going to start with the difficult stuff. Is that true? Or are you challenged a little bit? Not challenged. Okay, so zero and zero make a dot. They look in it, and look. Now, look, this is the left view. So I'm looking from the left hand side. One, look at where's one. Top of the line or the bottom of the line? Where am I going to put one? If this is my left view, I'm looking from left. This one, will it be on the top of this line or the bottom of the line? Top, because it's behind. <laughs> then I go to the outside. Two. Then three. It's near my, nearest to my bottom of the line. Then four. Then five on the outside. Six is at the back. Hey. Okay, then if I look from the left hand side, there's a line running from 5 to 0. That's that line there. Do you see that? 5 to 0. But what about from 4 to 0? There's an actual line running there. Do you see that? Yay. Do you see? Then from 3 to 0, there's another line, people. And then from 0 to 2, there's a the last one. Now I look from the right hand side, same, same story. Lekker, voorig. Okay, so we're zero and zero meets dot. Now I'm looking from the right hand side onto the stop view. So where's one now? Closest to my eye. So on the front here. People, oh, if you can do this, I'll be so happy. <laughs> Two. If I look from the right hand side, the three is behind. Up. Four. I'm going to go four behind. Five. And if I look from the right, six is on the front. I honest with you, if you can do this, you are so much prepared for the more difficult drawings. Okay, then I look from the right hand side. So from five to zero, there's a line drawn that. From two to zero, there's a line. From one to zero, there's another line. You won't believe me, but the same steps. I, if you follow these same steps, I should be able to give you a grade 12 drawing now. And you should be able to draw it because the steps is exactly the same. So if you, if you understand this, they just get a lot more points. <laughs> meaning uh, more complex and they've got two solids and what of them. But the fact of the matter is if you understand this numbering, you are very well said. Anybody that wants me to remind you of a step that I've taken or a principle that I've shared, last chance, half a chance, no chance. Thank you for watching. Now it's your turn.